Now, while many Asian nations battle stubbornly rising prices, Iraq offers an example of the extreme hyperinflation, that is, inflation that has spiraled out of control. It occurs when there is an unchecked increase in the money supply. Iraq's central bank is planning to solve this issue by completely revaluing the dinar. In countries experiencing hyperinflation, the central banks often falls into a vicious cycle, printing money in larger and larger denominations as smaller denomination notes become worthless. One way to avoid the use of large numbers is by declaring a new unit of currency. Over the past 30 years, inflation and economic intervention has caused the denomination of the dinar to continue to rise, but the exchange rate is so low that the highest denomination is worth less than $25. Therefore, we need to carry out currency reform. Iraq's central bank announced back in June that it would re-denominate the Iraq dinar, removing three zeros. The central bank says complete currency reform will take two to three years. Experts say it won't be an easy task. It is unfortunate that the Iraqi market is unstable right now. Currency reform will have great impact on the market. That's what we're worried about. Many residents are also concerned about what impact the change might have on their spending habits. The sudden change of the dinar might cause problems. We hope that after the currency reform, we can still buy things like the way we did before. Right now, the highest denomination of dinar is 25,000, and the lowest is 250. One U.S. dollar is equivalent to 1,180 dinar.